Elias Hanna is joining me now live from Beirut on that top story of ours. He is a retired Lebanese army general. Um, so Elias, this is the first Israeli strike in the heart of Beirut for some years now. What message do you think Israel is trying to send with this targeted strike? I think this is uh, not really changing the rules of engagement because there is the timing first. It's like prior of one day of uh, Secretary General Hassan Nasrallah's speech, uh, which is supposed to be tomorrow. Uh, second, it's like uh, four years uh, on the assassination of uh, Qasim Soleimani. And the place, the place is very important. It's the stronghold, the center of gravity of uh, uh, Hezbollah, which is considered as major security breach. And uh, uh, moreover, it's, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, the context that we are talking about, uh, it's about the war in Gaza, and Israel, uh, has Hezbollah is participating in the southern Lebanon against, uh, uh, you know, against uh, Israel. And moreover, we have to remember that you have gallant have said once that we are fighting on seven fronts. And uh, Benjamin Netanyahu also gave instruction to Hamas to really assassinate and target all the uh, Hamas's leaders. So it is not really the breach of, you know, the uh, uh, rules of engagement. It is within this bigger context. OK, so you, let's pick up then what you say about context. And I mean, who is Israel then sending a message to? Is it to Hamas, Hezbollah, or is it to both of them? It's to everybody, maybe to the Iranian at the same time. As I said earlier, Yoav Gallant has said that they really declared that we are fighting the war on seven fronts. So maybe the Israelis now is really reversing the, the Iranian concepts, the unity of arenas, and then, he, and then targeting uh, Syria as usual, and maybe Lebanon in the heart of Lebanon, in the heart of uh, the stronghold of Hezbollah, uh, it's a message. Moreover, in addition to this, maybe it's like to delay, to, uh, you know, uh, stop the negotiation uh, of releasing the hostages, maybe because the hawks and the Israeli government are benefiting from this to continue the war. And uh, that is. So you don't think Israel's um, emphasis is on securing the release of its hostages? Not really now, because releasing the hostages necessitates to achieve something on the, the, the Gaza front. So far, they are in the third phase, the low-intensity conflict, and they are withdrawing, redeploying, releasing the, 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 the reserve, and maybe they are really trying to uh, uh, shift the war from the Lebanese border into the heart, and maybe to send some messages to the Lebanese uh, government, which is not really uh, in place because uh, Lebanon is highly vulnerable to such uh, security breach, you know? Now, you mentioned rules of engagement. Is this a sign of Israel expanding its military operation, or do you think it is a one-off strike to send this message? It's a lot of messages to Hamas, maybe to Qatar at the same time, and to the Lebanese, the Iranian, and everybody. I think that uh, the rules of engagement are like uh, 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 changing every day in a way. Uh, it's like the rule of engagement, it's like a deviation. It's like, uh, it's like uh, a parallel, it's like a parallel uh, rules of engagement assassinating or targeting the Hamas's leader, but at the same time uh, waging a war on the Lebanese front. However, um, the escalation won't go far. Why? Because Hezbollah is really waging a war in uh, controlled rules of engagement on the Lebanese uh, border. Strategically, he has the liberty of action, but geostrategically or geopolitically, let's say, it's the Iranian who decides and the American. OK, Elias Hanna, um, retired Lebanese army general. Um, we will leave it there, but thank you so much for your analysis on our programme tonight. Thank you so much.